say what's this guy? Uh, humerus. Humerus. All right, this is your arm bone, right? Let's go. What's this? Head. Head. This line? Anatomical. Anatomical neck. But it breaks mostly here, so this is called surgical. your surgical, surgical neck. Right. So we have two bumps or tubercles, right? The greater, greater tubercle, tubercle, lesser tubercle, 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 and between? Inner tubercle. Intertubercular groove. Great. That's it. Then um, halfway down, we have an attachment site for your shoulder muscle. Deltoid. Deltoid. Tuberosity. Tuberosity. Great. And then we have the widest part of the bone. The medial and lateral epicondyles. Right. Epicondyles. Um, and how do you know if this is medial or lateral? The head. You look at the head. The head's medial. This is medial epicondyle. Great. So down here, we have a little bit of a... Uh, a little complicated, right? So this whole region condyle. is considered the condyle. That's why these guys are epicondyles. So the rounded part of the condyle is the capitulum. capitulum. The other side is called trochlea. The capitulum above it has a fossa. Radial. Radial fossa. So remember that the capitulum is round, a radius is round, right? So the radial fossa goes with the capitulum. The next fossa over? Coronoid. Coronoid fossa. Yeah. Great. If we turn it around, we have another big fossa shaped like the letter O here. It begins with an O. Olecranon fossa. Beautiful. You're done. Next bone is this guy. What's this guy? The radius. The radius. The radius has a head. And then the neck. And then the radial tuberosity. Radial tuberosity. Excellent. At the other side, we have the. Oh, it looks like a pen, right? Styloid process, like a stylus is a pen. Styloid process, and the opposite side we have a little notch for the ulna, right? An ulnar notch. You guys are done. This is the ulna. It has a little U, right? So one, two, three. This is the olecranon process. process. Trochlear notch. Trochlear notch. Coronoid process. Coronoid process. And then another little radial, radial notch. notch. Excellent. Down at the other end, we have the head, head with a stylus process. Excellent. <laughs> okay, your hand. <laughs> the group is. Carpals. Good. Carpals. Second group. Metacarpals. Metacarpals. Last group. Phalanges. Good. So this is your mnemonic, right? Some lovers try positions. You always start with the thumb side. Start with the bone that looks like a little boat. Scaphoid. Lunate. Tri. It's like the same thing as tri. Tri. Quetrum. And then a little P-shaped. Pisiform or pisiform is fine. Then go back over. This bone rhymes with thumb, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Hamate has a hook on it, okay? So if I were to label um, one of these guys, if I were to label this, what would you say? Third metacarpal, good. If I put it here, what would you say? Is your thumb first or fifth? The thumb is one, right? So first, distal, phalanx. So singular for phalanges is phalanx. Excellent. Further away. So it has a distal, it has a proximal phalanx, and no middle, whereas the other fingers have a distal, middle, and proximal phalanx before they get to the metacarpals. Okay, let's go to the... What bone is this? Coxal. C-O-X-A-L. Coxal bone or uh, innominate or oscoxal. Three regions of the coxal bone, right? Your ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. So the ilium, the upper area is called the iliac crest. Good. The iliac crests will end at a bump. This has been... Um, Tagged for you. Does anybody know what this bump, this number thirty, refers to? Anterior, superior. Ilya, explain. Are you sure it's anterior? So how can you? I messed you up. So what's your clue? What's front and back on this? Remember that. Right, this guy, the greater. Sciatic notch is always the back of the bone, so that means that this is your anterior. You were right the first time. Anterior superior iliac spine, 
anterior inferior iliac spine, and then you have the next two bumps over here. Posterior superior, posterior inferior. Okay, so we mentioned the greater sciatic notch, the greater sciatic notch go out. What's this little spine here? Ischial spine, under the ischial spine. Lesser. Lesser sciatic notch, correct. And then we have a nice bumpy region. Ischial tuberosity. Ischial tuberosity, those are hamstrings, very bumpy. And then we have this piece of bone here. Ischial ramus, good. If we slide over to the other side of the ischial ramus, what's this called? Inferior pubic ramus, awesome. And then up here? Superior, superior pubic ramus. What's our hole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> obturator. Yeah. I don't know how to make people obstetrician. If you're an obstetrician, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this depression. This reminded me of operator. Yeah, obturator. This is your? Acetabulum. Acetabulum, right? And it has a lunate surface. Okay. Let's go. I think we're done. I think we're done. Great. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Want to try? So hold it so the greater sciatic notch faces the back and the acetabulum faces out. That's just like that. Is that a left? You're correct. Okay? So just remember you can't do that on the exam. Right. But you can flip it like this. Okay? So, right. Greater sciatic notch faces posteriorly. And then I want to make sure my acetabulum faces out laterally. This makes sense. This is my left. This doesn't make sense because now my femur bone is coming from inside my body. It doesn't do that. Okay, so that's very uncomfortable. 